the light heavyweight champ, Alex Pura, has spoken. He wants his next opponent to be Jamal Hill. Even with Magomed Ankalaev coming off a big win against Johnny Walker, and a lot of people think that he should fight for the belt next, Pereira has his eyes set on a former champion. He believes the matters with Jamal Hill matters more right now, and he's looking to make history doing this. He's not going to have Uncle Live wait around. He wants to make the shortest turnaround for a champion in UFC history that is right now held by Davison Figueredo. So this is what Alex Pereira said on Instagram. He says, quote, guys, let's focus on what matters, which is Jamal, and then I'll focus to beat another record in making two title defenses in the shortest possible time, unquote. He wants to fight Jamal Hill and then come back immediately to fight Magomed Uncle Live. I don't know how they're going to be able to pull that off because what if Alex Pereira loses to Jamal Hill? Then is the Magomed fight off? Because they would have to schedule both fights, right? Unless Magomed's okay with like a month preparation. The shortest turnaround in UFC championship history was Davidson Figueredo who came back 21 days after defeating Alex Perez where he fought Brennan Moreno the first time to a draw. Pereira's looking to make an even quicker turnaround than that to fight both Jamal Hill and Magomed Ankalaev. If he can pull that off and win both fights, that is some legendary stuff right there, man. That is some craziness. And I would say if Pereira pulls this off, if he beats Jamal Hill and then Ankalaev after, he's one of the greatest light heavyweights of all time. He has to go down as one of them. Not number one or number two, or maybe not even number three, but top five of all time at light heavyweight, I'd probably say so. Because this kind of achievement is something most champions would never even think about doing. And to get it over guys on the level of Jamal Hill and Uncle Laiev, right after beating Jan Blachowicz and Yuri Prohaska, he would have beaten the four best 205ers of this generation back to back. And I don't know if there's any light heavyweight that's ever done that. To beat the four best of their generation, even John Jones never fought Anthony Johnson, right? Pereira would have definitively have defeated the four very best of his era, but he still has to beat Hill and Uncle Live. He still has to get through it. Isn't it kind of funny how all these other champions are looking at champ champ status, looking for double belts, holding up their divisions and stuff, but Alex Pereira is looking at another path for greatness, and it's a simple method. I'm going to beat the best guys in my division, and I'm going to do it in record time. No one's going to get held up. It's going to be the opposite. Not only am I going to be busy, everyone's gonna be busy. This is what a real champion would do. He could easily look up a heavyweight and be like, yo, I wanna fight Tom Aspinall. That guy doesn't have any opponent. I wanna fight him next. Instead of that, instead of chasing another belt, he's looking to wipe out his division first. And the only reason he went up to 205 is because he couldn't make 185 even more healthy, which makes it so special if he's able to pull it off. But the fact that he wants to attempt this and now hold up the division is very respectable. I like to see either guy fight for the belt. I know a lot of people want to see Uncle Live get his title shot now, but there is Jamal Hill, who was respectful enough to the division to vacate his belt when he got injured. And you do have to owe him for something like that, you know? If he does come back, he is owed a title shot, in my opinion, as well. So if Pereira's choosing one or the other and promises to fight the other one quickly again, if it happens that way, I'm down. That'll be so exciting. Because I do think it probably is going to be easier for Pereira to go this way than the other way. Magomed Uncle Live is stylistically the harder matchup for Pereira than Jamal Hill. Mainly for the fact that Uncle Live is probably the best wrestler of the whole top 15. It's a higher chance for Pereira to beat Jamal Hill and then fight Magomed next than for him to beat Uncle Live first, then fight Hill after. So I think he's understanding the stylistic matchups here and also knows that Jamal Hill is owed this. He wants to get revenge on him for beating Glover Tashira as well. There's a lot more logic in Pereira's perspective to give Jamal Hill the title shot first and then take on the contender that earned his shot, Magomed Uncle Live, after. And trying to do this in record time is crazy. But the thing about Jamal Hill is he hasn't returned from his injury yet. He suffered an Achilles injury back in July of last year. And according to his manager, Brian Butler, he's probably not ready to come back for UFC 300. That's the biggest issue. This is what the manager said, quote, his goal is to come back in around the time of International Fight Week, but I just don't know. I know that he's working hard, he's moved to Vegas, and he's staying there to utilize the Performance Institute and the services there to help his recovery." Unquote. This is an issue for Alex Pereira if he wants to fight a UFC 300 against the first opponent and then make his quick turnaround in May. Right? If he wants to fight in UFC 300 against Jamal Hill, then his quick turnaround should be in May, or he fights Jamal Hill in June or July, then fights Uncle Live the month after. Again, though, he could lose. You know, that's the biggest thing here. And would Jamal Hill also do the same thing? Will he be willing to take up Uncle Live a month after fighting Pereira if he beats him? If both guys can agree to this, 
then that would be awesome. Uncle Live will get his title fight regardless of who wins, and he doesn't have to worry about the guys not showing up unless they do have a medical suspension, right? If the winner gets beat up too badly where they can't return that quickly, that's another hurdle to get past. I do like the ambition here from Pereira, but it seems so unlikely to happen. And if he gives Jamal Hill the title shot first, do you guys want that more than the Uncle Live fight? Right, what does Uncle Live do in the meantime? Does he just wait? Or does he fight the winner of Yuri and Rock Hitch? Because technically, Johnny Walker is not a top contender. Walker was not even in the top five. So it can make kind of sense for Uncle Live to go and fight the winner of Yuri and Rock Hitch to get a really big win in there before fighting for the belt. He did fight Tiago Santos, who was a top five guy. But I think if he could fight Yuri and get that win, there is no denying him anymore. But if they go with Magomed and Uncle Live first, that's fine with me as well. I'm willing to watch Alex Pereira fight either guy at this point, as they both do have a stake to the claim for a title shot. So very exciting news, Pereira's looking to fight, he's looking to get active, and what do you guys think about this announcement? What do you guys think about Pereira targeting Jamal Hill first, making less than a month turnaround to fight Magomed and Uncle Laev? And what do you think if he pulls that off, where does that put him in like all-time greatness of light heavyweights? Leave in the comments below, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.